the Wendigo, Algonquin tribes. One of the most terrifying beings in Algonquin folklore, the Wendigo is a malevolent cannibalistic spirit associated with greed, famine, and winter. It is said to possess humans, driving them to cannibalism, especially when stranded or lost in the wilderness. The Wendigo is often depicted as a gaunt, emaciated figure with glowing eyes, tattered skin, and a foul smell. Once someone eats human flesh, they risk becoming a Wendigo, forever cursed to hunger insatiably for more. I grew up hearing stories about the Wendigo, but I never believed them, until that night in the woods. It was late winter, deep in northern Minnesota. My friend Jack and I had gone on a hunting trip, something we'd done every year since we were teenagers. This time felt different, though. The cold was sharper, the woods eerily silent. There were no birds, no rustling of animals, just the crunch of snow under our boots. We set up camp near a frozen lake, and as the sun dipped below the trees, the temperature dropped fast. That's when it happened. I heard a faint distant scream, human but distorted. It echoed through the trees and my blood turned to ice. Jack heard it too. We tried to convince ourselves it was just the wind, but deep down, we both knew better. Then we saw it, a tall, emaciated figure lurking between the trees. It was gaunt, with skin stretched so tightly over its bones, it looked like it could tear at any moment. Its eyes were glowing, hollow, hungry. We stood frozen as it moved closer, silent except for the crunch of snow under its long, bony feet. The Wendigo. I don't remember running. I don't remember packing up. But the next thing I knew, Jack and I were in the truck, speeding away, hearts pounding, not daring to look back. To this day, I can still feel its gaze on me. That hunger. I know it's still out there, waiting.